Hi everyone, Chantel here. In this video, I am going to show you all how to remove vinyl, but I'm going to show you how to do it with an iron. Like I always do, I try to do my videos as if, you know, you don't have certain things. So I try to accommodate to where you're able to do things that way than to feel like, oh, I have to go out and buy something all the time just to do something. So hence why I want to do a video showing you how to remove vinyl with an iron. And this is really all you need. Whatever you have to remove the vinyl off of and an iron. Just make sure the iron gets hot. That's all you have to do. As long as the iron gets hot, you're good. Okay, so I put this down to make sure that nothing from the table gets on the back of here because usually when you're applying heat to something and you're pressing it, it ends up getting embedded on the other side and I don't want this to get messed up. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how I do it. Now, removing it with an iron it does leave sort of a background shadow which I think it's not too bad because I've had to remove some things for people already and do embroidery on it or fix something that someone else has messed up but as you can see it's actually coming off I'll zoom in let me zoom in for you. You just rub your iron right on it. Now this is regular vinyl with with glitter vinyl and stuff. It's it's pretty hard to do that. So you would actually need the removal formula that they make and I had some but I swear to you I cannot tell you where it is uh, every time in one of these videos I, I'm always missing something <laughs> but as you can see it's it's coming off pretty good and I am actually going to embroider right over this I found a font on Etsy that is the same as this. Well, kind of the same as this. So I'm actually just going to embroider over this. I'm not sure if you can see. Since it's a dark color, it leaves kind of a shadow. But, like, you know, the color shadow. But, I mean, I'm going to embroider over it. So... And then the more you wash it, the more it goes away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this right here just so you can see. I'm just rubbing it on. As you're doing it, apply pressure and remove it. Not sure if you can see that, but when you're doing it, try to make sure you get it off quick because some pieces will still stick like that one did. Now for the tea. So we got that off and did pretty good. And I will actually include a photo of how it turns out after I embroider it so you all can see. But I mean, I'm, I hope I was able to help someone. And as always, Thank you so much for watching and have a very blessed day.